says the profit from a new computer is modeled by the function p of x is equal to negative 20,000 plus 500x minus 0.25x squared dollars, where x is the number of computers sold per year in thousands. In addition, the value of x is a function of the number of assembly line workers in, according to the function, or formula, sorry, x is equal to 8n plus 0.1n squared. So says use the chain rule to find the rate at which the profit is changing with respect to n when there are 10 workers at the assembly line. All right, so there are certain things that we want to do. So first, we need to find out how many, what x is when there are 10 workers. So we just plug 10 in here, we get that x is equal to 8 times 10 plus 0.1 times 10 squared, which would be equal to 80 plus 10 squared is 100 times 0.1 would be 10, so x is equal to 90. All right. We also know that we are looking for the profit in terms of n, so we want the profit in terms of the number of n workers. So we know that we, when we take, or the change in profit according to the change in workers, right? the rate at which the profit is changing with respect to n. So we're really looking for um, dp over dn, which in our case will be equal to dp over dx, which is what we'll take the derivative of here, times dx over dn. So that's why we need to find x. So we are going to first take the derivative of this. So p prime of x will be equal to 500 minus 0.5x. Okay, so this is, remember this is dp over dx. And we know when there are 10 workers, x is equal to 90. So we know that dp over dx will be 500 minus, this is 1 half, times 90, which is just minus 90 over 2, alright? And so, this is dp over dx, so now we need to multiply that by dx over dn. And we need to go over here to find dx over dn. So, dx over dn from this equation will be equal to 8 plus 0.2n where n is 10. So dx over dn will be equal to 8 plus 0.2 times 10, which will just be 2, so 8 plus 2 is 10. So dx over dn is equal to 10, and we know that dp over dx is equal to 90 minus, um, or 500 minus 90 over 2. So when we want dp, p over dn, remember that's equal to dp over dx times dx over dn, which is equal to our 500 minus 90 over 2 times 10. So that gives me 5,000 minus, and these simplify, um, and this becomes 450. So, dp over dn will be equal to 5,000 minus 450 gives me 4,550. And that is your answer. And it says that answer D is that profit is increasing by $4,550 per worker. So, that is your answer. And remember, it is increasing because this value that we get is positive. If it had been a negative value, then our um, profit would be decreasing. So, yeah, that's your answer.